Hello, most everyone is requesting on how to create an AMV in HD in YouTube. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate my version on how to create a video that is in HD. First thing first, you should know the basic requirements of YouTube before creating a video. For instance, they need these requirements. You should go to the upload and you will see here in the best video formats and then on this page it says resolution it is recommended to have a 1280 by 720 and that is in HD and 640 and by 480 on standards but uh, 720 by 480 is also worse uh, here on bitrate uh, it says uh, because bitrate is highly dependent on card, there's no rec recommend recommended on minimum value. It this one it really doesn't matter, but I always recommend it. But twenty five uh, twenty five hundred and above uh, will give you more quality of your video. Uh, frame rate um, this frame rate is the rate originally should maintain w without resampling. Um, for my case here, I'll, I always put down 29, uh, 29.97 because uh, most video are standard that way. Uh, codec H264 or MPEG2. Um, YouTube always preferred uh, MP4. And for the codec, for the audio, it really doesn't matter as long as you follow the MP3 or AAC. Before before we begin our tutorial, please remember that you will not get HD AMV if your original source video is not good quality. I suggest that you need to get a video of Naruto bleach etc 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 in HD or else just eat some oranges. To begin our tutorial you need to create a composition. Um, your settings would be width of 1280 720 or you could always uh, create a standard which is 720 height is 480 and pixel aspect ratio is square pixels on the frame rate uh, is uh, 29.97 frames per second and then resolution would be full time start doesn't matter uh, duration whatever the um, the duration of your video and then press OK um also if you want to rename your your composition let's say test hq hd and then press ok and then bring your source now try to find a good scenes uh, the way you want it uh, on this particular um, section just double click this guy and then push it down then try to find a good scene which is the one you like for instance here just drag this all the way to your right and drag this guy all the way to your left then click this icon right here some of the HD video will lose some quality after importing to any of the formats even with compression codec so this is what I add on your effect panel just type curve and bring 
to your footage like this and then on this particular area bring this down a little bit on your channel RGB and then bring this up a little bit and then on the red channel bringing down a little bit here and here in the middle up then I add CC toner and drag to your footage like this and then I go for 90% then I add photo filter and drag to your footage then this amount is okay mm, what else I also use sharpen drag to your footage and then on the sharpen amount I use 25% Some people ask me on why I add a green screen in the beginning of my AMV. There are a couple reasons why I, I added them. One of them is to promote TV Tokyo anime series. The second is a part of disclaimer. And lastly, to test my video in HD. So I would just drag my re-rendered uh, green screeny. And then I would cut this uh, somewhere one minute. Is that one minute or one second? Just I probably do thirty seconds. Now drag your footage all the way to your right. And then after creating all your video footage whatsoever, now go to composition and say add to render queue. On here, go to lossless and then window for videos for a uh, video for Windows. I'm sorry, and then here video output uh, on the channels go to RGB plus alpha and then format uh, you also need a compression which is XFeed and PEG4 codec um, that's easy things to do just go to Google and type XFeed codec download so I would suggest to get your codec at this particular site which is the freecodex.com download something I would gladly to show you but right now I'm running out of time um, if you have any questions just give me a message whatever so anyways if we go back to After Effects, uh, compression would be XFit MPEG 4 codec. Press OK.